Hey, this is uh, Tim Maria here live at CES 2013 at the Digital Health Summit uh, studio. I'm here with Terrence Gregg, who's the CEO of Dexcom. Tim, how are you this afternoon? Good, good. Well, you showed me some amazing technology and the things we've seen from the South Hall, especially up in the digital health area today, is just amazing. Well, I will tell you, the convergence of healthcare information into these mobile applications and at the patient level, that is what's going to happen. We're already experiencing it. You know, the arcane way in which we deliver healthcare today has got to be transformational and move to a different way. We're part of that solution. Diabetes is a global epidemic. Yeah. 366 million people suffer from the disease. The United States alone every year spends $170 billion yeah. treating diabetes and its consequences. Wow. We need to be interventional. And what is your solution and how are you going to create a positive shift? Well, one of the easiest ways is to avoid hypoglycemia. So hypoglycemia is defined by a lowering of blood glucose. What happens, the brain ceases to function adequately. You get cognitive impairment. So 26,000 accidents are attributed, car accidents each year to somebody with diabetes getting behind the wheel of a car, having a hypoglycemic event, crashing their car, maiming or killing themselves, or even worse, somebody else. So we have alerts, alarms, we can identify those trends in patients well before they occur and have the patients take action. It seems like the market's even bigger than that when you take an effect, everything else that creates complications from well, that ailment. Well, you know, cardiovascular disease is a microvascular disease, but there is a four times increase in patients with diabetes with cardiovascular disease, with retinopathy, with neuropathy. All of these conditions are comorbidities, but the underlying cause is the inability to control glucose adequately. So you have, you have a new device that's really cutting edge. Can, can we take a look at that? Absolutely. So I'm now using uh, an investigational device, so not yet cleared by the Food and Drug Administration. But what I do is I implanted a sensor in me just in the, beneath the, the surface of the skin. I administered it, put it on. And so now what I'm showing right here is I'm porting this to an off-the-shelf phone. So we built an app, put it on the phone. This transmits via AMP Plus technology directly to the phone. So what I can now do with this though, Tim, is even more exciting, is the fact that I can port this information to the cloud. And now if somebody, if I see myself going low, well, I can SMS text somebody. So automatically, I don't have to take action to it. So if I'm going down low before I lose consciousness, it will alert a healthcare, my wife, somebody in my immediacy that can come and help me because I can't help myself at that moment. I can geo-target it right on a map and send in, send in a small army. Exactly. I mean, that's the goal and the power of CGM and mobile health. What excites you? Oh, I want to someday cure diabetes. That, that's what I get up every day. But I think it's the realization that we improve people's lives, particularly with a disease in which there is no cure. And I think that's what, what I get up to do every day. I don't really have a job. I have a passion, and I get to utilize that passion by running a company. So you're down here to network as well, right? You're, you're educating folks and you're here to get connections. What, what types of folks are you interested in meeting and connecting with? Certainly anybody with mobile applications that we can port the information to, data analytics, got a great relationship with Qualcomm in, in that particular arena, cloud computing. But as we know, 10% of the population has diabetes. So if you look around this room, you can do a, a count and know that somebody or either they have it or somebody in their life has it, and that's to make them aware of technology. You don't have to suffer from diabetes. You can take tools to alleviate some of the pain and suffering. So that's what we're all about, awareness. Get it expanded out and the utility of it for patients. Make it as easy as putting it on your cell phone. Yeah. Great. Well, I would ask about what the future looks like, but you're sitting with it there in your pocket. Well, our goals are move it along. We're integrated with insulin pumps that deliver insulin automatically. We're combining that with some algorithms that actually create an artificial pancreas where the patient receives insulin automatically based on a sensor and an algorithm. 
and they walk around without the pain and suffering. We've had patients tell us, you know, for the first time in 35 years of being diagnosed with diabetes, I feel normal. Yeah, for a patient, like you like realize there is no holiday from diabetes, no vacation. Every single day of your life, you have to do something. You have to take insulin. You have to measure your glucose. It's a burden on someone. So if I was out there and I wanted to connect with you and your organization, what would be the best way? www.dexcom.com. Real easy. D-E-X-C-O-M. And we will give you uh, patient information. If you're a healthcare professional, we have a whole tutelage uh, tutorial with regards to how you can get involved as well. So we're, we're web-based. Web-based. The future is here, right here at CS. It's such a pleasure to meet you, Greg, and really, really connect. And, and I met your team, and it's just such a fantastic family we have here at the Digital Health Summit. Well, I would say, you know, we're a relatively small company. We're the fastest growing company in the space. We grew last year at 41% which is phenomenal in this economic market. And the future is very rosy for us. Cool, all right, thank you. All right, thanks, Tim.